As the Edo State governorship election heats up, political activities in the state continue to generate reactions from Edo indigens. On the part of the candidate, Senator Monde Okwebolo, the candidate of the All Progressives Congress, APC, in the September 21 governorship election in Edo State, has advised the flag bearer of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Asue Godalo, to withdraw from the race due to his alleged failure as the economic advisor to Godwin Obaseki. According to Okwebolo, who is currently representing Edo Central Senatorial District at the National Assembly, alleged that Asue Godalo's roles as an economic advisor plunged the state into huge debt. Joining us now on the show is Prince Emmanuel Odige, member, Edo Integrity Group, and a chieftain of the All Progressives Congress in Edo State. Good morning and welcome to the morning show. It's good to see you, Prince Odige. Good morning, good morning, daughter of Zion. Good morning, um, Ayo. Nice to see you again today. All right. Okay. So let's go straight in. My introduction talked about, um, I mean, the Edo elections is in almost a, a month and a few days. So it's getting hotter and hotter. But a few things have been said on this show. Maybe the first thing to clear is where you are currently. I introduced you as a chieftain of the All Progressives Congress. But the PDP have said that you are welcome to cross over to the other side since it seems as if you are better aligned with them in this election. So where do you stand currently? Are you for APC or would you be crossing over to PDP so you're not accused of anti-party activities? Thank you very much, um, Ayo. As of today, I am a member of the APC. Though I have been said to have been illegally um, suspended without due process, I am one of those who believe that Nigeria can be better, that Edo can be, continue to make progress. You know, we are going to change the political narratives where we put the state over party politics, partisan politics. We cannot, in the 21st century, afford to have a man who cannot read a balance sheet as governor of a do state, the intellectual hub of the South-South. You know, great Ayo, uh, uh, daughter of Zion Ayo, uh, you would agree with me, if the office of the governor was a conventional job, will a Monday Bevolo be applying for the same job as Aswe Gudalo? Man, this is the service. This is the problem we have in this country. We identify people who have no track record. Go and look at Mondeo Bebolo's um, INEC form. You can apply for the CTC. Arise News can apply for that. You will see previous uh, work experience. No! No one work experience is written on his INEC form. Apply for the CTC and check it out yourself. Is that the kind of person we want to put the uh, future no, of over almost six million people Prince in his Adige. hands? Professor Digge, Professor Digge. Yes, uh, yes, no. Th this is oh, good morning, the great Rufai. Good morning, morning. morning. But no, I'm not going to take all of that bashing off of Pueblo. In fact, I'm speaking up in defense of Pueblo today because you were the one that came here to tell us you that have the Pueblo right to. owns a company Yes. That partnered, or somebody else also said he partnered with the Israeli on something or tech. You also no, that was that. not me at all. Okay, I came to debunk you that. You confirmed that he owns a company. No, great Rufai, I came to debunk that. No, but you confirmed no, that. He no, no, I a didn't company. say he owned a company. I said, I said, I said he owned a company that sells computer and computer and So how can you? So wait a minute. Here's a minute. If you say he owns a company that sells computer, why are you saying work experience is nil? No, you can't say that. He owns a company, he's a Go CEO. And that's what he wrote on his INEC you know, form. Pueblo is a CEO. The, I just told you the great Rufai. Uh, no, I'm with you. Pueblo is a CEO, so he owns a company. So this idea of work experience is a man that ran a company. You're saying he can't read a balance sheet. He can definitely read a balance sheet. If he's run a company successfully all this while, that Ose was here, and Ose also confirmed the fact that he owned a company, how will you say a man that runs a company cannot read a balance sheet? So number oh. two, Number three, Ose okay, came here now, now, and Ose uh, said they don't know okay, where you stand. That you are just talking for them. They like what the you say, but they don't know where you stand. 
That's what they're so. The question is, it, I stand. Uh, uh, I stand for good. On what premise stand, are we even interviewing you in the first place? Can I answer place? you the great reply? No, hang on a minute. On what premise are we interviewing you in the first place? Because I asked Ose a couple okay, of things you said you. against the yes. other candidate, and they denied that they are not the ones speaking through you. That you don't speak for their campaign. Ose and any said it here live on television. Can I? Can I? Can I respond? Yes, can sir. Can I respond? Can I respond to you? Yes, Can sir. I respond to you? Okay, now, the great Rufai, no, I will tell you, ahead. I am not a member of the PDP. I speak for the APC Integrity Group, a group that has, since the beginning of the electoral process, of the process of selecting the candidates of the APC, there were 29 prominent Edo sons and daughters that was interested in the APC ballot. We had a committee that scrutinized, that did due diligence in each of these 29 aspirants. And we rated them. In all of the 29, Okbevolo was the least qualified. I do not speak for the PDP. I speak for integrity group of the APC. And I'm a Nigerian that wants good governance. And I want an Edo that will have its own seaport, have its own blue line like Lagos State, that Nigerians will graduate from the 36 states of Nigeria and come to seek employment in Edo. I want an Edo that the IGRO will be 500 billion and more. I want an Edo that will be a first class economy where people will no longer go and protest of hunger. Okay, where please. people will Can no longer know, cry, they cannot afford gari and rice. Yep. And without yeah, good you. governance, mm -hmm. without the people, without a man that has the capacity to do this for Edo people, the people will continually suffer. Okay. And I All will right. tell having you said that, that I know Okwewolo much that, more than Ose oh. because we have investigated him. And I want to, I want to appeal to Arise. If there's anything I love Arise for, it's your ability to fast check your guests. I tell you today, go and request for the CTC of the form submitted to INEC by Monday Okpewolo. Previous experience is nil. A man that is not proud to write where he has worked wants to be governor of Edo State. And I would draw five million naira check on his name. If he's able to read a balance sheet, even on ITV Benin, let him take the five million and contribute it to his campaign. No, we cannot allow mediocrity in Edo. A great Rufai, I will tell you, if you look at Lagos, we all work in Lagos and live in Lagos, do business in Lagos, own properties in Lagos. Why? Because Lagos is working. Nobody can come from anywhere and just become governor of Lagos State without being part of the establishment, understand the master plan of Lagos. That's what Asiwaju has done in Lagos State. And we want to build that in Edo. You know why is Oshomole out of relevance today? Because in 2016, Oshomole told Edo people the truth. Okay, the video is pre everywhere. Pre 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 when he said, Vimbai wants to speak. Let me come in because of time. Vimbai wants to speak. Vimbai. Okay, okay, yeah. okay right. good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, How are you, Prince. Vibai? I'm great, thank you. Great to see you again good on the morning. program. Now, the gentleman thank who you're you saying much. has no work experience is a sitting senator. So to say he has zero work experience for somebody who has been in the Senate for over a year now is a little bit concerning. However, He's released his five-point manifesto, which focuses on security, infrastructural development, education, agriculture, and water provision. What's your take on that? Because it sounds like a lot of the things you're reeling out are contained in his five-point manifesto. So what is your grouse with him exactly? Um, I just told you, uh, my pretty sister, that the Arise News TV should apply for the CTC of the form Monday Okwebulo submitted to INEC. Just do that and see if there is any work experience written there. Just, just, just apply for it. Work experience is nil. I will tell you, um, my pretty lady, that Edo people has resolved to vote Aswe Gutalu. And the APC Integrity Group is mobilizing our grassroots mobilizers 
to work for him in a dual state. I will tell you those, and let me even address Adam Soshomole, our leader. I saw him on a rise the other day. You know, it's, I'm sad to see a man who is old to be an elder state man, well over 70 years, will come on national television and, and mislead the public. You know, I salute you, the great Rufai, for immediately fact checking Adam Oshomole that day. He came and talked about a judgment that never existed. You know, we know their plans and we will reveal them. There's a master plan by the APC. We know it. And the integrity groups are always in every meeting they call. There's a plan to use the vice president, uh, the speaker, the senate president, and Bajabia Amila to ring election while the president will go on holidays. There's a plan to use the police to intimidate, uh, the DSS to intimidate the people. We know all these things. And look, Edo in diaspora has written petitions to all the international organizations, um, international community, embassies. Look, Aswe Gudaro is an international brand. Wow. You know, Edo is blessed to have such a man to leave all his job, all the good things in life, to offer himself to serve the people. And yet a few politicians want to truncate the opportunity for a door to grow. Adam Soshomole told us in 2016 that if not for Aswe Godalo and Godwin Obaseki, economic team and the blueprint they gave him, Obaseki was the chairman, Aswe Godalo was a member, a very active member, that if not the blueprint they gave him, there's no way he would have been able to grow a do IGR from 600 million, merely 600 million, to 3 point something billion monthly. And if not for them, he would have not been able to build any road, do any school, pay salaries. And that was why he needed Godwin Obaseki to be governor. And we believed him, we keyed into it. He told us uh, Osage Zeyamu was a courtist, a criminal. A, he called him all sorts of unprintable names. And those of us that knew Osage Zeyamu as a very uh, amiable gentleman, a pastor, struggled to believe Oshomole. But we felt he knew better. And we rallied around him and voted for Obaseki. Okay. Oshomole was the face of that campaign. Edo people believed in him then. Fast forward to 2020. Oshomole came kneeling down across Edo that he lied to Edo people. That everything he said about Osage Zeyamu was a lie. And everything he said about um, Obaseki was a lie. Now he wants to tell Edo the truth. Obaseki is a bad man. And now Zeyamu is now the Jesus Christ Obaseki Barnabas. And Edo people said, no, you have told us the truth and we will stand by what you told us before. They came in mass and walked and voted for um, Godwin Obaseki. They defeated us in that election landslide. And we went, and, and Pastor Isaiah Yamu in his magnanimity accepted defeat. All right. Because the, the difference was so much that nobody could challenge it anywhere. Okay, so you... And in 2023 presidential election, Oshomale also made himself the face of the campaign. And the people said, look, comrade, we don't believe in you anymore. You have deceived us in us. They voted against us. And we could not even give Asiwajo 25% votes required. In Edo, we lost gallantly. And in the House of Assembly election, they voted for PDP. PDP is majority. So, and Oshomale has also made himself the face of this campaign. And the defeat of APC is inevitable with Oshomole there because nobody believes him anymore. Oh, How can he come this. and say, because of witches are wizard, Aswe did not sleep in his village? That is not true. Does Oshomole live in Evokimi to know where Aswe is slept or not? He, he, come on, come on. Oshomole should wake up and smell the coffee. Right, and two Prince people Odigian. do not believe in him anymore. All right. His Prince, days are over. Prince Odigian. And he should allow a free and fair election. All right. Edo wants development. Edo has made up their mind. It is Aswe Godalo and Osarodio Oge. All right, let me come we in here. We should allow let me come in a here, democracy. Please. There All is right. problem everywhere. People are calling for the military. And people are plotting how to uh, truncate Prince democracy Prince in Edo State. Prince, 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 Please, thank you. Uh, yes, right. thank yes, you, Prince Odiga. I know, yes. I know that that history, um, you know, taking us down memory lane was important to make your point as regards to the integrity of Senator Adams Oshomele, who has a right to also defend himself. But let's talk about the candidate, Mr. Aswe Igudalo. Um, Senator Mondo Pobolo has yes. cast aspersions as to his 
abilities or his competence, saying that, in fact, if he were Mr. Aswe Godalo, he would pull out of the race based on how, in his words, let me say that it's not me, I told myself that if I were Aswe Godalo, I would not bother contesting the governorship election because a government that I'm economic advisor to failed. He said, where I come from in Essan land, we were taught morals, and anything that is bad or spoiled, we don't eat. He put, he's alluding to this as a result of the fact that Edo State was over 573 billion naira in terms of um, billion naira debt profile, and it has increased from the inherited 43 billion naira. Is this true or false? And on that basis, saying that if Mr. Igodalo, as advisor to the governor, to, you know, made Edo to be in this situation, should he then proceed to contest for the governor? Thank you, Gorgeousayo. Let me respond to you. Let me respond to you. I can no longer hear you. Can you hear us? We can hear you. Uh, okay, I can hear you now. Great. I can hear you now. Okay, right. Um, Gorgeous Ayo, I will tell you, from the, the way you spoke eloquently, I can tell you that Mondi Okpewulu does not have the ability to write what you just read out. He, has, he, has, he cannot command such good English. It was written, written for him by Paul Humba Mu. And I will tell you the facts. Adam Sushumule left Edo IGRU at three point something billion. With Aswe's advice and the good work of Godwin Obaseki, Edo IGRU has grown from three billion to six point something billion, nine billion, as the case may be. You can fast check me. The list is five point something billion monthly. Edo is able to pay, was paying 40,000 minimum wage when states like Delta and other states were struggling to pay 30,000. Edo set, set the pace in paying 70,000 minimum wage and have been paying pensioners and developing Edo because of the good economic master plan. As of today, Edo have two power plants, Osiomo and Azura power plant with two modular refineries and with gas pipeline across Edo. With what we have, with what we have in Edo today, we need an Aswe Igodalu who has the trust of multinationals, who has raised billions for private sector, who has proved himself to be a man of integrity, prudence, and that can be trusted, who has international connection to attract investments to Edo, to alleviate poverty and employ Edo youths. From his track records, you can tell that Opebolo does not even know what he's saying. If Edo has made progress economically, paying pensioners, paying salaries, Edo's benchmark is what the federal government has just adopted. And you are telling me the economy has failed. You know, a man that cannot even face his people and articulate any idea. You see the manifesto you just read. Is the edited manifesto of Osage Izeyamu, the, the simple agenda that he okay. has presented okay. to Edo twice okay. Okay. and okay. that was okay. rejected. Okay. And you, I, I challenge Mondi Opewolo to go to any TV station to articulate what you just read out that was his claims. Let okay. him come and face okay, the people and speak to them. Uh, he Mr. has Dige. rejected every, inter every invitation Mr. Dige. Mr. Dige. to Dige. interface with the good people of Edo State. Mr. Dige. And by we cannot extension. have a governor that will be speaking to his can, people by pressure, by proxy. Okay, Mr. Digge, and by extension, we're also extending you, an offer to Mr. Mondi Ekpebolo. In fact, I put on my Twitter that he should come, but his political party, the APC, was asking me to give them a million dollars for him to come on this platform. And what I was saying in, in respect, <laughs> it invariably was it, the it fact will that... Take, it will be as, easier for a head of no, a camel to go through the let, eyes let of a video for an Ekpebolo to face any let, TV station. Let me finish, please. And uh, all I said was Aswe had been here. In fact, I called yeah. Aswe Godalo out here. And, he and the next day he said, he said, Rufai, I'm here. I guess he defined me. And I said, good. And Olubide Akwata has been here. So we just expect Mono Pueblo to come here too. And this is fair and very rational. But a couple come. of things I will also keep on. Def so here in plain devil's advocate, I'll defend the Shomale and I'll also defend Okwebolo. This is how I'm going to defend Okwebolo. 
you made an allegation. Hang on a minute. No, I'm going to defend. I'm going to defend Oshomole. And I'm going to ground in Benin. No, see, me. We do this show because of proper public discourse, and I will bring some contrarian views to be able to have public Perfect. robust discourse, and that's that's the way we run the show. Uh, this is the point I'd like to make in defense of Okwebolo. You said while you were speaking that they've hatched plans with the vice president to be able to rig the elections. I want empirical proof of those plans. If you can't give me a proof that plans like that don't exist, that's number one question. Number two, in defense of Oshomole, which might be a contrary view to a lot of people, is this. I will argue that Oshomole is still a better party man than you. Because in all of this, he had stuck to his APC stock. You said he brought up Eze Yamu, he went against Obaseki. Yeah, they had their fights and all of that. He still remained in the APC. Even with the emergence of Monday Pueblo, he still remained in the APC. He's a whole lot better than you that, as we speak reasons, today, we don't know where you people, are. Not in the you claim interest. you are still a member of the APC, you are suspended, but you are speaking for a PDP candidate. So he's a whole lot better party man than you. What do you say to that? And please give us empirical proof of that All plot right. you say how they are trying to rig election with the military, because that's a big indictment. All right, I would, I would tell you, the, see, I, as an APC leader, and the vast majority of the APC leadership belongs to the integrity group. You can see, if you know Edo, the great will fire you on ground in Benin. Go around the Benin streets. The Edo women has given 100% guarantee to Mrs. Ifeiwa Ebosetale Godalo that they cannot wait to have her as their first lady. They said they will tie two rapper to polling unit, they will spread one on the ground and sit and wait for anybody to come and ring the election. I will tell you, the master plan is known by us. And the APC Integrity Group has briefed Aswe Godalo already. They will tell the president to go on holiday. Watch out. If the president go on vacation before Edo 2024, then you will know what I'm telling you. Where's your proof? And I want to appeal to Mr. President. Where's your proof? The proof. How do you mean proof? Yeah, where's the there's proof? A, there's a plan. Do you have, do you have recorded communications? Do you have a document showing the plan that they hatch? Do you have correspondence? When, do you have those when, Give us when, proof. When the time comes, great when the time comes at the appropriate quarters, at the appropriate time, we will begin to roll out proofs. Proof. Don't forget I am in APC. Proof. That everybody in APC have good relationship with us. We are one family. And Proof. those that mean well for Edo will not allow this. And I'm telling you that we have voice recordings of meetings. We will release them in due course. But I want to appeal to the President Bola Amentinubu. I was his deputy director general of his campaign. We worked hard. It was because Oshomole made himself the face of the campaign we lost that election. The same Oshomole made Izeyamu to lost the election because he lied about against him. The same Oshomole has made himself the face of this same okay, uh, campaign. Prince and we are going to let's, lose. Let's sorry, focus sorry. on the... v v And I will tell you, let I, me answer your other question. The second question, yeah. Now, I stand the with the Edo you. people. I am taking, I am taking the party. I am putting Edo above APC as a party. I am putting Nigeria above APC as a party. Watch their campaigns. Did, they, did you see anywhere they referred to the renewed hope agenda of the president in their campaigns? Did you see anywhere they addressed the hunger in the land? Did you see anywhere they talked about the cost of fuel, the cost of rice, the cost of commodities in the market? Did you see anywhere they addressed any problem and proper solution? All they do is to try and drag a royal father into partisan politics. Omonoba is bigger than the entire political party in Nigeria. He's the father of Edo State and cannot be partisan. It's only the Oba of Benin that have the right to, to declare anybody his enemy. Not APC. APC does not speak for the palace of the Oba of Benin. They should talk to Edo people. Tell Edo people how they plan to grow the economy. How to plan, they plan to improve Edo, Edo people's lives, alleviate poverty, improve health, improve infrastructure, attract investors. You saw yesterday, Oshobole said he was going to uh, kill 
chop rights that he worked hard trying to bring in his time as governor. He said he will kill ShopRite. Oshomole does not own one business in Edo, not even a pure water factory, where two Edo people are employed. Yet he wants to kill okay, a multi-billion investment okay. ShopRite okay, in Edo. Okay, Let, Let's focus you on you the saw men Obwebolo who said are on investors, the ballot. Foreign investors let's bring the conversation are, are, are back to the individuals That's who are on the ballot, right? Another accusation okay, or statement, yes. rather, that was made by Senator Mandi Akwabolo yesterday was concerning Edo State's debt profile. And his argument is that uh, Asue Igodalo failed as a chief economic advisor to Obaseki because Edo State's debt profile has ballooned under their watch. What's your reaction to, to, to the statement that Asue Igodalo failed uh, uh, as an economic advisor? Asue Igodalo, you see that the man is not even properly informed because he does not even know how government works. He does not know the function of a governor, of a, of a chairman of Allah Godaro, and be special advisor. Asue Godalo has never been special advisor to Godwin Obaseki. He's been chairman of Allah Godaro. Allah Godaro is a group that's, that, that seeks to, 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 to attract investors to come and invest in Edo. Take a tour on the industries in working in Edo today, employing Edo people. The several, the ceramic industries, the glass factory, the steel factory, the ties factory. Come and see the numbers of industries that has moved into Edo in the past eight years. And you will applaud Aswe Gudalo for being able to attract those investors to Edo. No wonder Monday said foreign investors are dangerous, that they don't need foreign investors in Edo. He said so in Benin day before yesterday in their with their jamboree dance and insult. Did you see them bring address any issue in their campaign? All they attempt to do is to drag a royal father into personal politics, insult and, and lie to Edo people. Did they identify any problem and proffer solution in their campaign so far? You know, has I was actually Godalo ever special advisor to, to Obaseki? The answer is no. The answer is no. I think you, you should fast check these things. You know, I, I, I love a rise for your ability and capacity to immediately fast check your guests. You know, Monday Okpebolo does not even know what Alagodaro stands for and the activities of Alagodaro. What you should listen to is what Oshomole said before, that if not for Obaseke and uh, Aswe Godalo, he would have not been able to pay salary or tie road because they helped him grow the IGRO. Has Obaseki improved on the IGRO? The answer is yes. Has he improved on the well-being of workers? The answer is yes. Has he improved on the working conditions of the civil servants? Go and see Edo uh, Civil Service uh, uh, Hub. Go and see. The best in Nigeria, nothing compared to it. Those people will deliver because of the comfort of their office and the well-paid salary. That is why they are more effective and efficient today. They are very effective at those civil servants. Okay. They are effective today because of the good working condition and the fat salary pay. Civil servants are able to wear Italian suit like great the Dr. Abati today because they are well paid by, by Obaseki's government. Whereas in other states, you see cockroaches, roaches flying around the civil servant offices, dead rats everywhere. I invite you to Benin to take a tour and see the Edo State Civil, Servant, uh, Civil Service uh, complex. You know, Opevolo that cannot read a balance sheet. There's a five million naira check. I can send it to your office today that if Opevolo is able to present himself to any TV station of his choice and read the balance sheet to the hearing of Edo people, he gets a five million naira from me. You All know, right. we cannot compare orange. How can, please, ask me, uh, see, do you know that Edo in diaspora has written that they want to recall Opebolo from the Senate. They are wondering how he got to the Senate. Has he been in the Senate being effectual for the past one years? Go to his village. He said he has been tying road, creating boho, according to him, changing the narration, according to him, uh, uh, having a church representation in his government. Somebody that cannot scream two sentences, want to be governor of where you have professors uh, doing diaspora, breaking records all over the world. All right. All we right, will not in the name Prince of Jige, we have to politics. call me, though. We have to call me. Prince 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 we, we need to ask the questions. Prince 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 Pr
Um, the first question would be around, yes, and please. you're looking dapper yourself, but um, Senator Adams Oshomole had used the dressing of Mr. Asio Igodalo to point to the fact that perhaps he's not able to connect with the people of Edo State because he, he I think he termed it double-breasted suits, you know, going around. That he's not a grassroots man. What would you have to say about that? That he's, he has more experience maybe in the boardroom, in Lagos, so he's a bit too, he, he has too much finesse for the Edo State people. I'd like you to respond to that. And also, um, the support that Senator Mondo Kwebole has received because um, Honorable Omosede Ibenedion has decamped from PDP to the APC and is saying that she's supporting the um, candidature of um, Senator Kwebolo. So there's some su support. So you may not like him, but some people are even deep camping and joining his campaign. What do you say about that? Do you think that gives him a better chance in, um, in this race? Uh, the gorgeous eye, thank you very much. Um, let me begin from the first question. You see, when you quote Adam Soshomole, you know, I begin to wonder if you have followed the man's, the man, a man who has consistently been consistent, that Edo people no longer listen to. You know, you cannot begin to quote Adam Soshomole. Edo people don't take him serious anymore. You see, Adam Soshomole, you see, the, 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 the government of Edo state, right, is not, is where, where the governance, the level that Obaseki, even the level Shomale took Edo State for before Obaseki came in, is beyond the understanding of a layman like Monday Opewolo. Adam Sushomole said the only thing he have against Aswe Godalo is that, oh, he cannot speak his language. Is Esa language the official language of Edo State? Has any governor? communicated with the people in any local dialect. Oshomole has governor for eight years. Was he speaking a Sako language in the Dose government house? Even when we go on campaign trains in Esako, he speaks pidgin English and English to his people. So when has been able to speak one particular dialect become a yastic, becomes a determining factor to govern? They are not talking about Aswe's capacity they're not talking about his experience. They're not talking about his pedigree. They're not talking about what he's able to do and what he has done. All they are talking about, oh, he cannot speak Esa. I saw Monio Pebolos talked for 25 minutes for the first time yesterday in Urobi because he was speaking Esa. Are they going to change the, the official language of Edo to Esa language? I wouldn't be surprised. Because Monday said if he was chairman of a bank like Aswe was, he would flood the bank with some people. Under many federal character and forgetting that Edo is not only some people that are Edo indigenous and residents. You know, nobody takes Adam Sushomole seriously. Let me even talk about the decampees. Those you see running around to say they want to support Monday is for one reason I've said it here before. In building language, they say, oh, Nagi, nah, look. This one will let us use. This one, we can direct this one to have our way. Don't forget that these people have been staffed for nine years. In the past nine years that APC has been in federal government and APC have been out of government house, they have been staffed because many of them don't have a second address. It's all an attempt to have access to Edo State Treasury. And Edo people have said no. The good people of Edo State has made up their mind for Aswe Gudalo and Osaudi Ogi. They are the people's choice, um, and no so, amount so, of intimidation, so, so, no plot from anywhere can change it. Uh, and see, those politicians are self-seeking. Those men of honor and integrity, they are standing behind us. We look, great to fire. If the office of a governor was truly a conventional job, okay, will as we so, uh, can, can, and Monday can, be competing okay. for the same job. Okay, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. How on earth? Hang, hang on a minute. I mean, Mr. Uh, yes, Prince Odige, I know the job you're doing. You're the one that does the dirty job yes, for please. Aswe. You know, obviously, because he will not be tied to his cabinet. I mean, I, I get how the I'm not doing is. a dirty job. I'm speaking the truth. No, no, no great to find No, please. I take exception to that. Hang, I don't hang, do hang, dirty hang, jobs, hang I take strong exception to can, that. Can I finish my I, point? I am speaking facts. Can I, can I trust I finish your my capacity point? to fast check everything can I'm saying Can I finish my point? Just like I've asked you for the fact and yes, the proof please. as regards um, the allegations that they're going to rig elections, and you've not still given the plots to rig elections. Yeah. Okay, I just so, told you. So, to when, wait. You, when you want to talk, I maybe told next you time, you at provide the right the videos. Time, 
we will make it public. No, I want it now. I want the proof now. You can't just make an allegation and go like that. So, but secondly, I ask you another question. <laughs> you want it now? No, you, I don't. I don't really have Shumale, that now. No, hang on a minute. And that Ashomole is a course. better party man than you. That in all of this, he has his faults. Please don't get me wrong. He has not left the party. But you, aside stepping in and out. The party man that does not mean well for the people. Hang on a minute. The party but, man that does but, not mean well for but, the people. But he has stopped his party. The party man party. that's sick, that has no, apologized, kneeling down, that he lied before. Can I speak? And you can think I? that people take him President seriously? President, you're interrupting me. You don't want me to talk. Uh, I will keep quiet for you. Sorry, he sorry. has talked to his political party. You have put one leg in, one leg out. You're speaking for the PDP candidate no, today. One leg in, one leg out. I'm speaking the truth. I want a better Edo. I so, want a better Edo. I have asked you before. I that want a better Nigeria. He's a better candidate than you. And you, can't you see what you're doing? In one breath, you're supporting President Bola. I, I Bola. beg to differ. Yeah, I beg to differ. Let me finish. In one breath, you're supporting President Bola Tinubu in the national. Yes. In the states, you are going against the candidate of the party of the states. You are saying the PDP candidate because is better than the APC candidate in the states. But you are also aligning with the center. Absolutely. So, I mean, what, what happens to party loyalty? What I will tell you. Loyalty? Okay, let me give you. Let me, let, me, let me clarify that. Let me clarify that. Yes. Asiwaju Bolatinubu is my political mentor. I have followed him in the days of Nadeko. I saw the way he fought for democracy. I admired him as governor of Lagos State. I saw the foundation he has built in Lagos. And that is why no mediocre can come from anywhere and contest to be governor of state, Lagos State and be governor of Lagos. Because they have so structured Lagos that Lagos is continually making progress. That is why we all do business and go to Lagos and build houses and live in Lagos. Because Lagos is well structured. Lagos is the fifth largest economy in Nigeria with a working seaport, with blue uh, land and water view, with a IGRO of billions of Naira. So we want to do that for a door. I don't care about partisan politics. I want to see a stabilized a door, a door in the path of progress, a door that will become the first class economy in Nigeria and in Africa. I want an a door where people will graduate from Oshogbo from Kanu, from Umuahia, and come and seek for employment in Edo. Okay. I want to see a developed Edo, where okay. Edo people will no longer cry of hunger, where they will no longer protest of a big power, okay. where they will no longer protest their inability to purchase the electricity, uh, 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 pay their electricity bills. Okay. When their salary, but, but, their take home can no longer take them home. As we wrap up, Prince Odigi, I want a prosperous Please, let me just put this in. But as we wrap up, the first time you came here in February, the first interview was how you were going to unite yes. your party because there was fracas as a result of the emergence of the yes. candidate of the APC. Once that did not work in your favor, yes. you now forgot your party and now moved to our sway because it favors you now. Is it, are that you is truly not correct. about that is not or correct. about yourself? So that's just it. So thank you so okay, much I will for tell your time, you, Prince Odige. Okay. Really appreciate you. We need to go now. Thank you so much. My great Can prince. I quickly answer that? You just yes. told me, am I for myself or am I for Edo? In APC, I am a senior member. I was a deputy DJ. I had more opportunities of getting a federal appointment than any other person because I was deputy DJ of Predation Campaign Council. And I put that aside. Don't forget that I was a commissioner and I resigned when Obaseki moved from APC to PDP to remain in APC. We funded APC. APC is my party. And we would not allow some certain people to ruin and destroy APC okay. for us. Thank you, sir. We will continue to protect democracy. President we will Dige. not allow mediocrity to... Thank, thank you so to, much. And Prince Dige, please. Yes, please. After after this conversation, please, you can release in public the evidence that you have that the APC wants to rig the elections in Edo State because these are grave allegations. So please release the evidence in public afterwards. Thank you so much.